hello soul friends welcome back to the channel my name is laura so today's video is about that manipulation we are going to be using that manipulation to make this beautiful dress you see me wearing but before we start please like the video before you start watching hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification so already i have a pattern this um tutorial on how to drop this pattern and i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box so first step i'm folding back the front pattern paper by two you can see it's on fold then i'll go ahead and cut the half length i'll cut it into two then the down part i'm going to be opening it up i'll open this up and i'll cut the dart so you see this dart place i'm just going to be cutting it up so after cutting it you can see the way i'm cutting it on the pattern paper then i'm going to be placing the pattern on it so you just do the same way so when you cut it you cover the dart and you use the masking tape to max it down that's what i am doing so i'll do it for this other side of the pattern so you cut it open this way and you place it like this just simple this way then you go ahead and mark max your tape i know i'm saying simple this way but it's not that simple you need to be patient when making this dress this kind of um, design you need to be patient so max this down and the half part is ready so i'll go ahead and take the upper part again open it up and i'm going to be cutting the dots so i'll start first by cutting the buzz that after cutting it open i'll just place it up you can see the way i'm doing it just follow the pattern i am doing and you'll get it right then i'm going to max this down i'll do the same thing for this other side so i'll cut this and i'm just going to leave this part and cover it up like this I hope it's clear enough i had to show you different angle and different sides so you understand what i am doing so i have to cover max it down so i'll get go ahead now and cut the dots too these dots i'm going to be cutting it too so by this point i hope you understand how i'm cutting and i am just maxing it or taping it down so when you cut you just leave this side up you cover it and you max it down it's not simple but with patience and time you will get it you can see the way i was struggling a bit here doing it i even had to fast forward this part so it will not take um your time but at the end of the day you get it right then you max it down so i do it and for the other side of the dart so we are done i'll bring the down part of the pattern paper and i'll be joining this back together okay so i'm going to be taping this pattern paper down so we will have our one piece again it's just then i've done the same thing for the back i have cut the that area i have marked them down i'm just taping it to to be one um one pattern okay i tape it down so this is what we are having now after cutting the dart and masking it down this is what we are having so for the front pattern i just went ahead to you know use this um small pattern paper i just want to add to the neck of the front pattern maybe because of the style i am looking forward to i didn't i just added extra pattern paper for the neck part then i'll go ahead now and start you know marking and drawing my design trust me i did not have any design i was working with i just wanted to be creative i've done so many design on uh, off camera cleaning and still drawing but what you have to know is that anything you're trying to do the the lines you're going to be drawing should be across this point okay you see this point it should be across 
the dart part so that it will be flat okay you see how puffy this looks so i'm trying to draw and create my design around the dart so that the um the pattern will be flat so you have to be creative when it has to do with this design just let your creativity come out this is where me i was just confused cleaning drawing sketching cleaning again but everything i was doing i had to pass through the dots you can see this that i have to draw the line across the dot so that when i'm uh, i i want to cut and sew everything will be flat so just be creative in this angle so for the next part i want to have a design at the end of the day i didn't even need the paper i added but it's just safe to add and i was trying to come up with a design for the neck i did not want the regular neck so i was just trying to come up with a nice design so i'm using pencil so that in case i do not like the design i can easily just erase it is better than marker then maybe when you're now sure of the design you can use marker to retrace those lines so i went ahead to label the pattern in a way that i will not be confused by the time i'm done cutting so i label it a and b after i make a and b because i'm using two fabrics like one fabric for a the other one the second fabric for b then i went ahead to even you know place arrow in the areas i'm going to be sewing this pattern down like when i'm when i'm sewing it anyhow I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for me and i don't want to get confused by the time i'm done cutting because when you're done cutting this fabric and um, this pattern paper it's going to be a lot of pieces so you want to label it in a way that you will not get confused so label it mark it down draw the arrow where you're going to be joining those pattern you can even see what i'm even doing here like i'm cutting it on that um that like i told you whenever you're making your design let's just run through the that so the pattern will be flat so um friends i'm having a an online course that is coming up on the 4th to the 6th of december 2023 and in this course i'm going to be teaching you how to get clients not only any kind of clients how to get high paying clients how to maintain them how to market your business like your fashion business on social media especially you just finished learning how to sew you're done with your fashion school you don't even know where to start from you need to register in this course so that 2024 you can you know how to strategize and do your business okay so i am done cutting out the little little pieces you can see the way i'm even arranging it here i i'm still looking i'm still going to cut extra again you can see what i am doing here cutting and pointing the arrow when i was done i actually took picture of this um, pattern you're seeing me doing here so the back i just went for something simple i didn't want something um too much because the front already it's it's already having so much design so the back i went ahead to you know take down the tip i maxed um the half length to the down parts because i am not doing too much i just want to you know use two fabrics and just make a design or two behind so i'm going to be holding the normal that's at the back so yours if you want to do so many design you can just cut through the the paper so this is the fabric i'm going to be using then i'm folding it you can see the fabric has a little bit of stretch this is very very important because you do not want to use fabric that is not stretchy then the part that is stretchy you keep it for your width then don't use it for the length part of your design like your dress okay use it for the width so this is what i'm doing i'll fold it down and i'll start cutting it out so i place the back pattern that's the down part i just place it to this fabric and i just cut it out i told you i don't want to do too much at the back i just want to keep it simple so i'll just cut it and i'll hold my dots then the front here you can see where it has so many patterns and what i did you can see i'm adding half allowance like half inch to this pattern as we are cutting you see the part i was adding arrows those parts that you're to join 
I went ahead to add half inch to it. So this is the back pattern and that's the half inch I added to up and down. So when I join it, it will give me one piece. Then this part here too, I added half inch at this part when I am sewing. So this is your little, little pieces. You need to add half inch to it so that by the time you're done joining it, you won't have issues. So I'll go ahead and join, hold the dots for the back. I am done holding the dots for the back. You can see the way I did it. I'm going to be joining. Okay, I'm taking off the pin from this pattern. You can see me still placing my arrow. I don't want to be confused. So you really need to take your time and do this. So I'll, I'll sew this down. You can see the way I'm going to sew this down with the half half inch we added. I'll sew this down. I'll do the same thing for the other side, this other piece. Then this is the front um pattern i've gone ahead to cut out all the pieces with the fabric i'm going to be using then this is the neck i went ahead to cut facing for this part and facing for this part and also facing for this after that i went ahead to sewing this place down so i sewed it before i used the facing to turn it you can see in the video the way it's looking needs really neat then i'll place it down and i'll start arranging these pieces together i'm going to be arranging these pieces i'll join this part with the half inch allowance we added i'm going to sew that part down so at the point i wanted to add more design to this clothes so i came up with this bias i just iron this bias into two then I'll place it at this joining and I'll sew it down just to add more effects or design to the dress. I'll sew it down that part. Then for the back piece, the half length, I cut out the facing for it. You can see this part here. I cut out the facing and I'll turn the neck with it. Then after turning the neck with it, I'm going to be joining the half length and the down parts together and i'll sew it with the half length half inch we added so i'll do that after doing that you can see the way it is it's already giving it's already looking really beautiful i've torn the um facing i'll go ahead now and join this piece together and i'm going to add the zip to it so i'll add my zip to it i'm done adding the zip to read you can see how fine it is so this is the front pattern the front piece after joining it you can see how it's looking i'll just keep it down place the back piece to to it then I'll place the back piece to it then i'm going to join the shoulder i'll join the shoulder so this is the way i'm going to join the shoulder you can see the way i'm showing you here so that we have that neat finishing at the shoulder area So this is what I mean by the neat finishing. You can see how neat the inside is already looking. At this point, this is where you have to keep it down and trim out any excesses you have. Any excesses, then you mark and shape. So after trimming it, I'll just start shaping, placing the measurement back to the fabric. I'm just placing the measurement and I'll shape it down. So for this, I've already cut the sleeve out. The sleeve has a design. So from where the three-quarter length will be, there will be another um, fab. Like, it's, it's not a straight sleeve. You're seeing me cutting here. It has like an A-line flay at the down part. So this is what I am just cutting out with the fabric. So after cutting that, I sew the 
pat down then this i went ahead in adding paper gum to the cloth gum to the fabric then i'll use another fabric to turn this like turn it to be neat <clears throat> i'll remove the front of this point like this and the parts we added our gum to the clothes this is how it's looking really neat i'll sew this round the sleeve and by the time i'm done i'll fix the sleeve on the dress and hem the down parts of the dress our dress is ready it's not your regular sleeve it's not the regular sleeve so i'm just showing you how i'll join this together so the dress is ready please subscribe do not forget to subscribe hit the um, like button and let me know if you're interested in the online course um, in the comment section or you can send us a dm on whatsapp the number on that flyer please when you are sending us a message go straight to the point and i'll communicate with you thank you so much see you in my next class